Grade 8 Math, number 6.1a. This entire chapter, chapter 6, is going to be about identifying and knowing functions. So here's our first one. To understand function relationships, a function assigns exactly one output for each input. So think of a function as a machine that works by a rule that it must obey. This one function machine right here is the 4x machine. The x is what we're going to be putting in it, its input. The output is what's going to happen when 4 is multiplied to x. So if x is a 2, the output is going to be an 8. Now look at this. This is the 5x function machine. Whatever the input is, is going to be multiplied to 5. So if x is a 2, the output is going to be a 10. See? If I put in a 3, the output would be a 15, wouldn't it? Whatever goes into this machine is multiplied by 5. See? And the input is the x. See? The output changes as the input changes and vice versa. And a function table lists all the input or x values next to the output or y values. There's a lot of different ways to represent a function. There's a mapping diagram, and that is input and output as these little ovals, and you can match the input to the output. It could be a table, and our input is on one side, or x, and our output's on the other side, that's y. We can even graph it. This is x, the horizontal, and y is the vertical. And we can graph these numbers, 1, 2, right here, or 2, 4, or 3, 6. See? We can even see the line that's graphed. See? It can also be ordered pairs. See? We've got our 1, 2 as our x, y, our 2, 4 as our x, y, and our 3, 6 as our x, y. See? And don't forget that a unit is just 1. So a unit rate means how much for 1. To figure out if a relationship is a function or not, check to see if each input value matches one output value. And can you figure out the rule? So look at this one. If the input is 1, the output is 2. So the rule might be plus 1, but look, the input is 2, now the output is 4. Ooh, it doubled. Now the input is 3 and the output is 6. So they're being multiplied by 2. The rule is 2x. So we've got y equals 2x as our algebraic expression. That is the function. See? If Emma wanted the per unit rate for apples when 4 costs $3, if 4 are $3, it's easy to divide by 2 to find the unit rate because x is an even amount. So we can cut this in half to 2, we'll cut the $3 in half to $1.50. If we cut the 2 in half to 1, we can cut the $1.50 in half to 75 cents. See? Now we know the per unit rate for the apples is 75 cents. So our rule was to divide y by 2. See? We divided each one of these by 2, and that told us what x was. See? Or we could say we can multiply x by 75 cents to get y. See? Either way. It could have been x times 0.75 equals y. See? That could have been the algebraic expression. And we worked backwards. See? So those are function relationships. This entire chapter, chapter 6, is all going to be about functions. By the time we're done, and there's going to be about 12 videos or so, you are going to completely understand functions, okay? We're going to continue on, and we're going to talk about, uh, let's see, functions in these different forms, okay? So we're going to go on to 6.1b, and we're going to continue talking about them, all right? I'll see you next video. Bye.